just kind of take me through uh, when you finally get in the game and you catch the ball back up and those two big runs, just kind of the momentum kind of generated for the offense and how you thought like you did? Um, I mean, I'm always waiting, you know, uh, ready to be on my opportunity to get in the game. Uh, and that's what my time was called. So I feel like uh, practice throughout the week uh, and everything just allowed me to be prepared for that situation and uh, just playing for my team. So I had those two big runs. I do feel like it generated momentum. We was all playing as one team, which uh, got a lot of things going in the second half. David? Dylan's follow-up to that. You had the big game against UT Martin, but then the last couple of weeks, I think just one carry for one yard. When you're a competitor and you want to be out there, how frustrating is it to have to sit? Uh, you know, I'm a competitor. Um, I understand it from, you know, the coach's perspective. Uh, you got two really good backs in front of me. That's what I learned from. And, uh, you know, sometimes you, you may not feel all the way comfortable with putting, you know, a freshman in the game. So I just take that each week and I try to learn from it, from game out, game in, so I could have the opportunity to start working my way in each game. Adam? Tyler, the, uh, around college football, people will talk about that was quite a statement that impresses the playoff committee. I know you guys don't talk about the playoff. Are you aware, though, of the impact of a win like this on that? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not. Um, we kind of just try to go in and do the same thing every week, just try to get a, a W every weekend. So for us, we kind of uh, have a bunch of one-game seasons, and we just try to reset after this game. So after this one, we're done with this, and uh, we just move on to the next and get ready for our next point. Uh, Paige in the back. Uh, this is one for Tyler. So a couple things. Um, obviously, the defense able to make those adjustments throughout the game to get to the quarterback. But then for you, it seems that you hit a different pose every time you had a good play. Talk to me about that. Uh, you know, I try to just just go back to when I was a little kid. I try to have fun with it, to be honest. Um, it's still a game at the end of the day, and I just try to maximize it and do the best I can do. We'll go blue share right here in the back. Dylan, when you hear this offense rack up 724 yards, <coughs> does that number sound staggering to you? Um, I mean, it just sounds like something that we do day in, day out. That's where we go to be the best offense in the country. So, and that's really the standard. So, if that number isn't like that, then you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. we'll go. Adam, then Mike, and then Patrick. Hey, then what do you guys think <clears> you <throat> lost last week in the Georgia game that you regained today? Um, honestly, I don't think we, we lost anything. Um, you know, we, we had a couple mistakes, mental mistakes, um, and that we cleaned up this week and came out and executed how we knew how to execute, and we're going to continue to do that. Any pride or anything like that? No. I mean, it's a, it's a game. You, you win some, you lose some. Um, and, you know, we had a lot of uh, self-inflicted, um, growing pains. So uh, just coming back out here and be, being able to refocus and playing confident as we know how uh, is, is a great feeling. Mike and Patrick. That Jalen touchdown pass, how important was that play for you guys that moment? And when you guys rep that in practice, how often did it succeed mm -hmm. similarly and how it was that? I mean, it's, it's successful every time. Um, but <laughs> but I heard, I heard somebody on the sideline when, as soon as I was about to throw it, they were like, too easy. <laughs> but um, that, that was pretty funny to me. I thought that was cool. Uh, but it was, it was very important. You know, every drive, we want to we wanna make sure that we're getting six out of it. Um, so for us to get in the end zone was the, was the main goal. Patrick and then David. And then obviously this is your last game here. You had the moment before, beforehand, pretty loud ovation. Then after the game, leading the band, do you have a favorite moment of those two? Or just kind of what was like to stay like in terms of the band and everything? The band, for sure. The band was cool. Um, that's always kind of been a... Um, a dream for me just coming here and seeing Peyton stand up there and conduct the band um, I always thought that was the coolest thing ever to be able to strike up the band um, and, and that's what, what we want to do um, every week and, and coming out here putting the ball in the end zone and striking up the band. And it was a 28-24 game and, and y'all just took off and, and it kind of coincided with, with Dylan coming in the game. What what did Dylan provide this team today? Yeah, I mean, you know, he provided an a extra spark. Uh, he comes in with a great attitude, you know, day in and day out, brings great energy to the to the team and, um, you know, works hard, extremely smart, extremely talented, as you can see. You know, he's an explosive, explosive runner, and uh, when he gets to open field, he's dangerous. Back right over here. Go ahead. Yep. Hendon, talk about that last walk down Peyton Manning way for you. What were you reflecting on as you walked into mm -hmm. the city? Trying to hold the tears back, honestly. Um, you know, through this whole day, um, it's, it's very emotional. I've been through a, a long journey, but, um, you know, being here with my teammates is, is the most important thing to me, just these memories uh, creating with them and then just, just trying to be a good leader um, and a good teammate at that. Right here. And then we've talked about Joe a lot. He seems to come in and, and still be as effective as ever. Uh, what, what's that like for you to be able to see him go in there and just have instant success? And is there anything you've talked to him about as far as next year? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, 
we talk every day. We're roommates, so I mean, it's inevitable that we that we talk every day. So um, me and him just just bouncing ideas and, and football thoughts, and then real life thoughts. Um, you know, he comes to me for advice. I go to him for advice, uh, whether it's on the field or off the field. Really, just um, two peas in a pod. Honestly, um, I'm a huge John Millman fan. When he goes out there and he, he's showing that rocket arm off, it's, it's amazing. So you can't do anything but standing there and off. We'll go Paige, Jimmy, and then Carthay. Um, this one's for Tyler again. Just back on defense, you know, where did you all see that you made that, that jump? You got back behind your former selves that looked like. Where did you see that biggest improvement today that gives you this confidence? Uh, I think it was just everybody being more assignment sound, just uh, allowing the game to slow down for themselves and just make sure we're right with all our reads and um, just being gap sound as well. I think it was just a very clean game for us and um, more of the second half. Jimmy? Tyler, you played high school football in Knoxville. What does it mean for you to be a part of this turnaround for Tennessee? I mean, just growing up in Tennessee, I mean, it's just a really cool thing just to see the stages. And now that uh, we're in this stage, I'm just excited to keep it going, to be honest with you, inside for the future. We'll do a couple more. We'll go Karthik and then Brand. And then uh, over here on the right. A side. lot of fans obviously love you, give the ovations to you before the game. For a lot of them, this is going to be the last time they see you playing live. What hope? What impression do you hope to have left on you know fans that got to see you play live mm. and what entertainment you got to provide for them? Yeah, um, you know, first things first. I, I want to be a positive light in my community and a positive light in people's lives. So um, you know, any way that I can do that and showing them a great attitude and, and being a great teammate and a great leader um, is what I want to leave them. Um, you know, in memory of me, um, and then just on the field, I just want to you know be an explosive playmaker and uh, win ball games, and that's what we've, we've been doing. Right. And you're very businesslike in your approach, and obviously when you talk to the media and everything, but you said a minute ago that you were kind of fighting the tears a little bit on the ball walk. Did, did you have some moments this week or today where it, it was you reflected on the journey and, and kind of what all it took for you to get here and to be at the point you're at at this point? What was that like? Um, that's really on every drive from the hotel to the stadium whether it's here or away. Um, I've been through so much through my college career and uh, you know, almost having the game taken away from me, it's a blessing just to be able to come out here and, and put the uniform on and, and uh, showcase you know, what God's blessed me with. So um, it's, it's emotional for me. The game has, has brought me and my family a long way. So uh, any time that I get a chance to go out here and, and showcase it, it's special. Wait, one more, Jake, last one. And you had a long time with Alex Golish after. Just can you go into what he told you and what that mm -hmm. moment meant to you? Yeah, um, he was checking on me, making sure that my body was was intact. Uh, I told him I was good to go. Um, <laughs> but you know, he's he's um, he's an incredible football mind, an incredible person. Um, you know, shows us a lot of love and, and support. Um, really playful and, and down to earth. So um, you know, we, we we cracked a couple jokes, and then um, you know, he said we're gonna dance in the locker room. So we got to jogging down. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. That's it for today, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.